everyone, good morning. How are we doing today? Well, today we're going to be doing our workout. We have a chair, uh, a mat, because we will be getting onto the floor, and we also have a weight. So we have one weight, um, and that might be a heavy weight or lighter weight, whatever you have available. You can also just read it if you'd like a book, water bottle, something that's just around your home, and that will work just well. So you need chair, weight of some sort if you want, and a mat because we will be getting on the floor and doing this in class today. So let's get into some dynamic stretches and then we'll start out with that. Let's start with arm circles. Awesome, bring your arm circles back. I want these arm circles to be big, and if your pace is maybe a little bit slower than what I have right now, that's fine. Take what your body needs to take early Monday morning. Good, slow and bring your arms all the way down. Now just move your shoulders up and down, bringing them up and back. Switch direction, bring them forward. Three, two, one. Great job. Bring your arms out to a T. Give yourself a big bear hug and then lift your elbows up and release them down. Open up, switch sides, bear hug, lift your elbows up and release down. Good. Alternate back and forth. Open up nice and big. Find a stretch through your shoulders and your chest. Couple more. Again, you can move at your own pace if it takes you a little too fast or even a little too slow. Find what feels good in your body. One more, please. Great job. Release and relax your arms down. Let's move back to our small circles. Small circles, literally just poking your arm up and down. Five, four, switch directions in three, two, one. Go the opposite way. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Relax your arms down. Reach your arms across your body and one at a time. Find a little bit of movement and a sway side to side in your lower body. We really want to find space in our back. So as you reach that round your spine just slightly. Five, four, three, two. And one. Great job. Now reach one arm up and one arm down. And as you reach down, find a slight bend to that one side. And then switch. Alternate from side to side. Make sure your feet are shoulder width apart. Finding a stretch through our side body as we move from side to side. Last five. Four. Make sure to breathe. Three. Two. And one, release down. Great job. How are your arms feeling? I hope they're nice and warm. Yeah, we're going to do a couple more movements and then we'll call it good. This next series for our arms are foot movements or collapsing movements. So I want you to bring your right foot forward and your left foot back. Bring your arms up by your chin and what we'll do here is a punch and a punch. Just alternating from side to side. Having your feet in a stance helps you to find a little bit of rotation onto your left side of your body as you reach your left arm. But now begin to pick up the pace. Ten more seconds. We're really trying to get our heart rate up here now. So again, pick up the pace if you haven't already. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch your leg. Opposite leg comes in front. And again, nice easy punch to begin with. We'll pick up the pace here in just a couple seconds. Again. Finding a rotation in our side body as we reach our right arm across is super important here. We're feeling that come through here. All right, let's pick up the pace. Here we go. Ten seconds worth. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Bring your legs out, shoulder distance apart. We move. Side to side. Nice easy punch. Good. 
Now rather than just bending your elbows, I want you to reach and cross and touch. Reach and cross and touch. Good. Now add a little rotation in your feet. Do two on each side. One more each side, let's even it out. Awesome, good. Now let's begin to move our feet. Kind of as if we're jogging, it's kind of like a little, um, a kind of a little jog or just a stationary slow version of fast feet. Let's just try to move it forward and bring it back. Keep going. Stay up on the balls of your feet. Keep your heels from touching the floor and keep a side bend. Good, now begin to move your arms as you're jogging. Keep going. Now let's turn this into a stationary march. Let's go. Bring it forward and back. Forward and back. Let's go. 
Arms and legs are engaged. Find a slight bend in your opposite leg, your standing leg. Ten more. Five, four, three. Back to alternating. Come on. We're moving. Forward and backward. Woo! One more time. Bring it forwards and backwards. Let's go. Bring it back. Good. Now sidestep stationary. Keep going. I'm going to grab my water bottle. Keep going. Woo! Side of step. It's been a while since I taught in between, and I forgot how dry it can get. Come on. Side step. Pick up your feet. Square your arms. Right? The goal here is that we're Really moving our legs and our arms. If you need a break to grab a drink, that's fine, but come right back to it. Hopefully, your room isn't as dry as this room. Now bring it forward, side step forward, side step backwards. Not necessarily a cave step, just a slight move forwards and a slight move backwards. Again, pick up your feet. Be mindful of your stepping, and again, move at your own pace. If you're not able to keep up with mine, that's fine. Move at a rate that's comfortable to you. Keep going. Left side. Four. Bring it forwards and backwards once more. We'll finish with fast feet. And three, two. One, let's go. Back feet. Stay up on the balls of your feet. Look at my heels. They are not touching the floor. Bring that bend to your knees and keep your booty down. Move your arms forwards and backwards. Come on. Come on. Stay here for the next 10 seconds. That's it. Really burn out your legs. Come on. If they're not awake already, they better be now. Whew. Last five. Four. Three. Two. One, good job. Take a breather. Take out your legs, grab a drink, whatever you need. Lie in your chair. No weight yet at this time. All right, let's start out with some lovely chair stands. All right, stick to our chair stands. <clears throat> your goal is to not use your hands or your arms. So you can place your hands across your chest. You can bring your arms out or you can try to up level, bringing your arms directly out and extend it as far as you do. Heels are in, toes are out, feet are shoulder distance apart. Are we ready? Let's go. We have 45 seconds to work. Yes, we can. Here we go. All the way down, all the way up. I want to see you fully extend your hips at the top. Good. And we're not lifting our feet up and using momentum. Feet stay glued. Great job. Use the strength of your glutes and your quads to help press you up out of the chair. Use the strength and the stability of your core to help you as you slowly sit down rather than flop down. Good, keep going. 15 seconds remaining. Last five, four, Three, two, and one. Take a seat all the way. I'm going to move up a little bit so you can see me. All right. Extend your leg out in front of you. It does not matter which one it is. Biggest thing here that I'm looking for, and I'm going to turn this side so that you can see, is with your leg, you kind of want to stay in a circle. But your thigh, it's hard to see because it's black, but I want your thigh and your hip strength to lift almost completely off of your chair as you move into Toe can be pointed or flat, doesn't matter. Sit up tall in your chair, here we go. Big circle, lift your leg up high. Five more. Three, two, one, switch direction. Five, four, three, 
four, three, two, one. Put it nice and tall, straighten your spine out. If you found yourself beginning to change your spine or even arch your back, I want you to be focused on lifting up through your core and you can even maybe hold on to the chair. That should help you with your spine stability. All right, opposite leg, ready, set, let's go. Big circles, I wanna see your leg lifted up off your chair. When I say I wanna see, I wanna know that you're doing that. Because unfortunately, you can't see it, but you can tell me after today's class if you did it. How about that? Switch directions in three, lift up, two, one. Switch directions, stay elevated in your chest, keep your spine neutral. Come on, keep working, you're doing so great today. Last five, four, three, two, one, two. Relax your legs down. Take the movement with your spine, your head in your neck. When you're ready, let's stand up all the way. You can even leave your chair for those next one, two. Five, I just really dragged my chair you guys. All right, with your chair, you can go into some lateral leg work. But I want you to feel in and your toe. I want your heel in and your toe pointed out. Can you see that? So rather than your legs straight forward, bring your heel in and your toe out. Okay? All right, here we go. Leg lift. We have 12. Heel in, toe out. So we're hitting the inner thigh muscle. Now this chair's a little too short for me. I'm feeling like I'm slunched over. So try your best to find something that's small enough that you're keeping your spine. Last five, four, three, two, one more. Great job. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention, the leg that you're standing on, I noticed I was starting to collapse and put a lot of weight. We want to try to stay lifted and elevated through the opposite leg so we're not completely dumping it all of our weight. Heel in, toe out. Bring a slight bend to your standing leg. That will help. Here we go. Twelve leg lift. Press your toes up towards the ceiling. Great. Five more. Three, stand tall. Two, one. Great job. Now from here we have a hamstring. So I'm gonna step to the side so that you can see. Bring your leg behind you. Bring a 90 degree bend to your leg. Okay, toes. Then from here, lift your heel, lift your bottom of your foot up towards the ceiling. So we're feeling this movement and we're working our hamstring toward lifting low back. The biggest thing that I see in this movement when we have small groups is everyone likes to go like this. Do your best to stay engaged with your core and keep yourself elevated and lifted. Okay? Ten more. Three, two, one, switch sides. Shake it out. Wow, I felt that right away. Oh. Opposite leg, here we go. Bring a 90 degree bend to your knee. Stand tall, lift your leg up and back. Keeping a 90 degree bend the whole time in your leg and keeping your foot elevated. Five left. Squeeze and engage with all your might in your glutes. Last three. Two. One. Good job. Relax your legs down. All right, we're moving on to upper body. So push back your forearms to the waistline. Are you one holding? You did not need the chair, so we can force you to flat. So you can bend to the side. This person will only have a chest press. So with your weight at your chest, I want you to press it out pull it in. Nice and easy. Good, keep going. I need to take off my, one of my layers here. Chest press, keep going. Do your best to get up to 20 reps for me. Four. 
wherever you're at, finish it out all the way up to 20. Three, I'm counting it down. Two, and one. Great job, release and lower down. Now we have a bicep curl with our elbows tucked in tight to our side. Again, our goal is about 20 repetitions. With one weight, we can go a little bit higher on our reps when we're using both arms or a bilateral extension. Let's do 10 more wherever you're at. One more. Awesome, release down. Okay, now the next series of movements you'll need to bring your, we're gonna do left side, so bring your left foot forward and right foot back. Now, your right arm, so this could be opposite for you on the TV screen, but regardless, your leg that is behind you, that same arm then needs to hold the weight. So for me right now, I have my right arm holding all right, so from here we want to hinge 45 degrees in our torso, so we don't want to be standing upright. I want you to engage and hinge your torso. Then from here, lift your weight up towards your armpit and lift your elbow up towards the sky, and then release down, kind of like you're starting a line. Good. Now we have a series of movements on this one side of our body. Five more repetitions. Bring a slight bend into your front knee, and even your weight in your front and your back leg. Not all of it needs to drop into your front leg. Two, one. Good. Now release your arm down. Now stand up fully. Bring your legs in a little bit. We have a lateral extension. Lift your weight up out to the side and lower down. This might be the time where we want a little bit of extra support for balance. Your unweighted arm. Last three. Two. One more. Good. Now tricep extension. Again, find your hinge in your hips and your torso. Extend your legs. Find a little more length between them. Open your width. Then pull your weight to your hip bone. And then extend your weight above your wrist. Again, the weight's not coming all the way up and you're not standing all the way up. We want to find a hinge so that we can isolate our Drop your weight at your hip, extend your weight above your wrist. Here we go. Six more reps. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Now switch to the opposite side of your body. For me, I have my left arm, left leg, right leg is in front. So spread out your arm a little bit. Hinge 45 degrees, reach your weight out in front of you. Bring your weight to your armpit. Again, evenly distribute the weight in your front and your back leg and hug up through your core. Five, four, three, keep breathing, two, one. Good job, stand all the way up. You can narrow your width and lift your arm out to the side for a lateral change and then release down. Awesome, keep working. Let's do five more reps. Four. Three. Last two. One more. Awesome. Release down. Again, widen your stance, hinge forward, pull your weight to your hip bone, extend your weight above your rib cage, drop your weight to your hip bone. Let's go. Tricep extension. Six more reps. Control the weight down and up. Last three. Two. And one. Great job. Release your weight all together. You can set it on your chair or whatever. Now bring it down to the floor. We'll finish class on the floor today. So if the floor is not an option for you, then you can join in the chair and try your best to keep the feet off the back. Once you get onto the floor, have the feet on your um, find your glutes and bring your 
feet flat on the floor. This person here is an alternating seated bicycle. So we're looking at our legs, pressing them out one at a time, bending your knees, pulling your feet into your chest, and then extending your legs long. Lift up through your chin and your chest so that your back isn't here or even here. If you want to stay lifted and straight, the letter B, kick your legs in the back. Good, keep breathing. Lift up as much as you can through your spine and your chest. Last five. Four. Three. Two. One. Raise your legs down completely. And make your way onto the back side for bridge pose. So if you lying on your back, tuck your pelvis underneath. So rather than be straight down, tuck your pelvis underneath, bring your heels into your glutes. So what I mean by tuck your pelvis is lift your pelvis up and in towards almost like your belly button, rather than just letting your pelvis lie flat on the mat. Okay, this will help to kick out any arch of your low back. And it'll help to support your low back for this next movement. So tuck your pelvis, pull your heels in, and lift up your hips and your glutes off of the mat completely. And from here, I want you to squeeze your glutes together, squeeze your knees in towards one another, almost as if though you're holding a block between your knees, and breathe. Stay here as we hold an isometric movement. Breathe. Breathe. Squeeze and breathe. Lift and lift. Now add in a heel lift. So right to left. Lift your heels up off of the mat. One at a time. Do your best to keep your hips limited in movement. Keep going. Squeeze and lift. Last five. Four. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Release one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. Extend your legs long and place your hands under your hips for a leg lift. Here we go. Inhale, lift both legs up off of the ground. Pull your heels up and your toes down. And then point your toes as you lower your legs down. So getting a little bit of ankle mobility as we move in this leg lift. Heels come up as you lift your legs up, toes go down as you lower your legs down. A little bit of extra brain work for you here. Last five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Release your legs or pull your knees into your chest. You can make circles, rock back, forth, side to side. Then when you're ready, pull one knee into your chest and extend your opposite leg long. You can take movement here in your hip joint, kicking circles. Make sure to go both directions. Good. Relax your knee, pull it into your chest, and pump your foot up and down. Good. On an inhale, pull your knee into your chest, your right knee into your chest, and then Bring your right knee across your body for a spinal twist to the left side of your body. And breathe. Super important to breathe whenever we're in a twisting movement. Inhale, pull your knee into your chest, squeeze it tight. Exhale, release it long and switch legs. Pull your left knee into your chest. Take movement in your hip joint by creating circles, one direction, and then the other. Great. Now pull your knee into your chest and hold it still. Pump your foot up and down, or circles, whatever you did on the first side. Do it again here. Good, inhale, pull your knee into your chest. Nice and tight. And exhale, spinal twist to the right side of your body. Good, remember to breathe here in this twist. Do not go to the point of pain, but to the point of stretch. It might be just a little bit uncomfortable, but breathe your best. Good. Hold it here. Inhale. Pull your knee and bring your opposite knee into your chest. Both right in the squeeze. Nice and tight. And then make your way up to a seat. Awesome. Once you find yourself in a seat, 
Your legs can go wherever they'd like. Bring your hands around you and behind your back. Lift your chest up, or even better yet, place your hands on the floor so that you can find just a little bit of lifting from your chest and from here, move your head and hands. Nice quick circles. Really just move your head and your neck around in whatever direction is comfortable to you. Great job, release your neck down. Let's do a tricep stretch, reach your arm up, pull it back behind you, pat yourself on the back, lift your shin away from your chest. So Friday, I was talking with Maddie Morehouse. She is our culture coordinator, and her office is right next to Glenn's, and I was asking Maddie, what are some suggestions or ideas for my husband and I to do this weekend? Switch arms, please reach your opposite arm up, pat yourself on the back. And um, she suggested Scrabble, and I have never played Scrabble before. So I ordered it, did the car side pickup from Target, big, put it in my car, and I surprised my husband with Scrabble and a bar of chocolate because he really likes chocolate. Um, and Glenn was telling me all about it and how much he loves playing it and how much him and Laura play it often. Release your hands down. Let's take two breaths. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release down. Next one. Inhale, reach up. We'll take some more breaths standing. So when you're ready, go ahead and make your way up to a standing position. Anyways, Glenn was saying how much he um, enjoys playing it and how strategic it can be. Anyways, we played it. I learned that I like the beginning part where you can all the words everywhere. I didn't quite like the end. And I thought I was winning, but then at the very end, I lost by four points and had to move on to the game. I was really bummed. So we didn't play it again <laughs> the rest of the weekend. We might try again later, maybe on Thanksgiving or something. But whew, I gave it a try. New games. We've been playing a lot of games lately, so I'm glad we had a new game to play. All right, you guys, thank you for joining. Thank you for listening to a little snippet of my weekend. I hope you all had a lovely weekend. Again, let's go ahead and finish this with two breaths while we are standing. Here we go. Inhale, reach up. Big stretch, just like you're waking up first thing in the morning. Exhale, release your arms down. Two more, just like that. Last one. Exhale, release down. Thank you again for joining me. Stay tuned into our weekly calendar and all the things that we have going on this week. Uh, the gratitude series. Um, please tune in for those different informational videos. And then on Tuesday, we have a guest speaker, Barbara Speedling from New York City, who will be zooming in and speaking to you all about gratitude during this time of COVID. So please tune in to that. That follows right after Glenn's update on Tuesday. So we would love to have you join us for that. So great. Thank you so much, everyone. Have an awesome day.